Hello, this is Katie from Crafting Movie Dreams and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you a haul of things that I have had sent to my parents as I'm going to be spending the last six to eight weeks of the year with them. And I'm actually coming to you from my childhood bedroom and I'll give you a quick tour of it. The thing is, is that my parents have significantly redone it since I was a kid, so it looks nothing uh, other than the very basic shape, it looks nothing like it did when I was a kid. But I'll give you the quick tour of that and uh, also preview of all the stuff that I've had sent to my parents' house so far. There is more stuff on the way. And so I'll add those to this video as they come in. And yeah, I'm fresh out of the shower, so hence the very red face and the funky hair. But yeah, I did a very long haul car trip yesterday. Uh, my family, my parents, and my my parents and my sister came out to get me. It's normally about a 12-hour car ride from where they live to where I live, and so they left at 5 p.m. They left at 5 a.m. Central Time got to where I live at a little bit before 5 p.m. Eastern time. We had me all packed up within about 45 minutes and we turned right back around and drove through the night. And I was up for 20 hours yesterday and I'm currently running on about four or four and a half hours of sleep because I just woke up and was up. So yeah, so that's been a fun day so far it actually has been a good day because it's uh, really nice here right now but <laughs> I, I never thought i'd be this awake and this energized on four four and a half hours sleep but bodies what can i tell you so let me give you a quick tour of my childhood bedroom oh yes you can see me this is a full-length full mirror you don't usually get to see me full-length mirror because i don't have one in my studio apartment and yeah, just leggings and a t-shirt because it is total comfort time. And I am not working today. I took the day off because I thought I would need it. I thought we would actually be traveling today, but <laughs> nope, 22 hour round trip car ride for my parents and sister. So I give them all the props and all the love for that. So yeah, this closet was built by my dad when I was a kid because when we first moved into this house, this room did not have a closet, so technically could not be classified as a bedroom, but now it can be because it has the uh, closet and uh, points of egress, which is windows. But uh, yeah, so actually a pretty good sized closet and full length mirror doors. These are original. I don't think my parents have replaced it. Um, and so I'm going to quickly pan over the family photos. but. Uh, this window seat, my mom has a whole bunch of uh, family photos, so I don't want to show pictures of my niece and nephews since I don't have permission to do so. And But yeah, great view over uh, the addition that is our family room. And that's the thing is that this particular room was also an addition. And I didn't realize until my parents had to redo the bathroom, which swing around, is on the other side of this wall. This was originally the exterior wall of the house before this addition was built. It's still a brick wall behind that drywall, which you can actually see in my parents' uh, main bathroom. So yeah, so this is all brick, which explains why my sister and I were always cold in winter and hot in summer because the HVAC system just, even after my parents replaced it, just was not <laughs> the greatest coming up to this particular room. So yeah, insulation, not much. Um, but yeah, so we have a door exit to uh, our garage, which I enjoyed as a kid. And then as I grew to hate heights and everything, I just didn't go out there. And then two more windows. And yeah, so my sister and I, uh, originally when we were really little, had to share a full size bed in this room. And then we each had uh, two twin beds. So originally, um, we originally had like one bed against this wall, which was mine, and then that wall. And then we switched things around so that we moved my sister's 
bed down a bit this way and then my bed was in the corner of those two windows partially because I'm a weirdo who likes fresh air in winter so I would always have the window cracked open a little bit but yeah so my parents now have like a little sofa ass and a half mini couch love seat whatever I prefer to call it an ass and a half um, and yeah this is a little desk for my mom for her to do her work and more family photos and a seating room so it's a really nice seating room a uh, seating room and here is the amount of packages that I will be doing the unboxing of um, some of them I may not show on the video but I, I may because uh, one of them is a big box from Pensies that is basically my Christmas presents to my family so uh, yeah and I will be showing these in a moment and as I said I do have more packages coming in and as they come in I'll unbox those and show and append those to this particular video so stick around thank you so much for joining me hello I'm back and you may hear some uh, water running in the background that is the fountain in my parents backyard I am trying to enjoy the nice weather here as well as the fountain of uh, running water is something I love and it's something I dearly miss living in my studio apartment so uh, I love being back at my parents just for access to the backyard but so I'm about to show you the unboxing of everything that has been sent to my parents for me my mom is like all right are you sure you you don't need any more right there's no more comment so <laughs> yeah I get my shopping habit from her um, but I want to start with a teacup and saucer that I got from Ivy Tea Co. They came with this lovely journal card. It's just so gorgeous. And on the back is a handwritten note from Shanae, the founder of the company. And it is Ivy's, I V Y S T E A dot com. And they sell out so quickly. It is an expensive purchase, but it is. I think so far well absolutely worth the purchase and it comes wonderfully packaged and you've got all of the bubble wrap as well as a well cushioned box it was and it's marked fragile so it's in perfect condition when you receive it so I'm just going to go ahead and undo the bubble wrap and this is the saucer and look at the gold so this is her Trap China line, and I thought this was a perfect sentiment for me, who you can tell, obviously, white. Um, I love purchasing from Black-owned businesses and supporting uh, small businesses as well. So in the gold accents, is just gorgeous. I don't hopefully you can see that. It's just so pretty. And I particularly loved this color scheme. So this is the saucer, and down there again it's like very well cushioned and wrapped this is coming to you in really good condition and so here is the teacup and there is the I support black women sentiment so just gorgeous pieces this particular set was $125 there were other sets most of them were sold out at the time and I believe that her latest run is all sold out but uh, that it runs between about hundred and hundred and twenty five dollars depending on the pattern and obviously since I got a gold accent pattern this was a bit more expensive but I just I really loved this particular floral motif it was perfect for of what was still available there are other uh, designs that I loved equally but they were no longer available so yeah so just go ahead and spill some tea next up is a purchase that I discovered through Instagram I believe this is the uh, I believe this is the particular product that others were using, but I know a lot of people on Instagram were talking about doing digital planning and what made it really helpful for them was having a screen protector that made the 
feel like they were writing on paper on their iPads. So this is one particular product and this is the one I decided to test out and try and we'll see. I actually have had my I've actually had my iPad for four and a half years now and it's been fine, but I will be curious to see if I actually prefer using my pencil with it more if I have this particular screen protector on it. So should be interesting. So again, this is paper-like and it's for, they have different sizes. I have the iPad Pro 9.7 inch and they have just, I think about five different sizes of screen protectors that you can get. This was uh, 40 bucks. Next up, this very unassuming box is actually the laptop stand that I bought for my work laptop since I am going to be working from my parents. My job, I was already doing telework work from home in my apartment, but they extended it since I do not live in the same state or even the same part of the country as my family. My employer extended of or I should say um, temporarily waived the restriction of having to remain in the particular region where I am located so that with approval, which I received, I was able to move to a different part of the United States and continue my telework. So I did not want to bring home the shelf that I was using at my apartment and I got this portable Laptop stand from Roost. I saw it online. It seemed interesting. I think you can absolutely probably get something cheaper that is probably as good. This was $80 with shipping. And so this is how it comes packaged. It was actually in a bigger box. This is the interior packaging. And it's got this portable bag that it carries with. And this is my first time opening, so we'll see. Oh, this is. This is tight. All right, come on, pop open, pop open. Ooh, I like the rubber. There's got rubber caps on the end, so that should hopefully keep it from slipping too far. Okay, so. Okay, there's these two little things that I think Oh. <laughs> I probably should have played with this beforehand, but eh, whatever. Okay, so it eventually, because part of it is the um, multiple angles that you are stretching out at. So this is You can actually have it a number of different heights. It's supposed to have, I think, go up to like 11 inches. And there we go. That's a much better angle. So, so rubber grips there to hold that laptop. Uh, this is a bit rubberized, so it's not going to move far, but it's uh, still a smooth aspect. So eh, we'll see. We'll see if it is actually $80 worth of material, but so far interesting. And yeah, I'm I'll be curious to see with my work laptop. It'll be nice having the monitor further up than um, what I am used to, but yeah, so, huh. huh. Well, we'll see. Next up is a set of card decks that I discovered through the coaching group that I work with for on my Clifton Strengths, and they were doing a series of daily videos. And the uh, founder of the group would pick out this deck. I was not able to get the deck that she was pulling from because it was out of stock, but I bought all of the other decks as a friend had passed on to me a 50% off coupon. And so these are questions to generate conversation with whoever. So this particular one is the decision deck. This is the impact deck and the uh, tagline says, a tool for showing up and stepping up. 
and uh, the decision deck says a framework for informed choices. This is courage over comfort, a tool for getting out of your comfort zone. And this comes with 150 prompts. As you can tell, this is a, a slightly bigger deck than the decision deck and the impact deck. And then this one I got particularly because I am a writer in less writer's block, more writing. And this is the wordsmith deck. Again, 150 prompts. This is the icebreaker deck. There is no tagline on it because I think most people know what icebreakers are. And then this is actually the sequel to the icebreaker deck, Deeper Talk. And as you can see, it is from the Best Self Company. Um, oh, here is the tagline for Icebreaker Deeper Talk, a tool for creating lasting and more impactful connections. There we go. And ah, here is the icebreaker. A tool for meaningful conversations and deeper relationships. Can you focus? There we go. That's probably as about as it's going to get. All right, so that is the best self company and you can buy that online. And the other deck that I would like to get that was out of stock, probably still is out of stock, is the Einstein deck. All right, next up, this is for planner people. I got an order from Couture Pens. They did a collaboration with the Coffee Monsters Co. So let's see if I can get, this is the first pen. There we go. And you can see the slothy modi from the Coffee Monsters Co. is the little charm at the end of the pen. This is pretty cool. And then the other pen that they did is the one with the bunny and so it's got uh, the uh, crystals in the barrel of the pen these are, in the pens the filler is a ballpoint pen so i got a pack of gel refills and here are the two pens together okay next up i decided uh to support the incoming president-elect and vice president-elect. I got a mask, please wear your masks, as well as a navy blue t-shirt with their logo. So I am looking forward to wearing these on inauguration day. Wear the mask. But one of the things that you may have noticed is that I wear a lot of bold lipsticks when I do my talking head videos. Those are almost all Lisa Eldridge and Lisa Eldridge had their annual sale in terms of they put product up for sale. They sell out very quickly. They do not have price reduction sales. They, they just put products up on sale and they do a release about once a year. So it is time sensitive. And if you're at all interested, I would absolutely save your pennies because the, it is an expensive piece of product as, since it is 26 pounds per uh, tube of lipstick, which depending on which depending on the exchange rate of the day that you buy might be anywhere between 38 and $50 US. But this is the packaging that it comes in. This is really gorgeous and I figured I'd save a full unboxing for this. And it's so nicely packaged. All of this tissue paper and I, I, I bought a lot. So, oh, oh, this is so cool. Stickers, oh my God. I was not expecting these. And these are textured stickers. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Um, but oh, I just, I love these. Oops. Oh, check these out. So much fun. And this is Lisa's, and this is Lisa's logo. So you, you have to check her out. If you uh, don't watch her on YouTube, you should check her out. She does a lot of uh, fashion, uh, she does a lot of uh, makeup tutorial. She does a lot of makeup tutorials, and I actually found her through a friend who was already a longtime fan of hers. So I got a set. This was the velvet. 
This was the Velvet Myth set. And if you bought the set of the lipstick, the lip gloss, and the lip pencil, it came in this uh, specialty, it came in this specialty case. So I thought it was gorgeous. And I also really wanted the Velvet Myth. I already have a lot of tubes of Velvet Myth. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with, I, to keep all of them or give one away. So this is the lip pencil. And again, well packaged. This is attention to detail. And this is, is the lipstick. Check out this packaging, this tube. Gorgeous, rich color. And it truly, it looks like velvet in the tube. And here's the lip gloss. Oops, stop. In addition to that particular set, I also bought six more tubes of lipstick and with every three tubes you buy, you got your choice of this wonderful velvet carrier case. I already have a red velvet carrier case from last year's release that I use a very good, that I use frequently. And so let me show you the colors that I got. Again, check out this attention to detail. So fully tissue paper wrapped and supported. So there is, there is no damage to these products coming. So two and so you can see this is the green this is the blue and here's the packaging again seriously so well packaged and the lipstick that was in the, the lipstick that was in the blue case was actually a predetermined set, and that includes Velvet Blush, Velvet Carnival, and Velvet Beauty. I did not have any of these already. And these were a set that I made up: Velvet Fawn, Velvet Muse, and Velvet Ribbon. I might already, I don't think, I don't think I have any of these. I might have Muse, but I don't think so. So I will actually let me know if you'd like to, even though I'm not a beauty channel, let me know if you, if you would like me to do a video of me trying on each of these lipsticks and letting you know what I think and how I think it looks on my face. I am, as you can tell, and you, if you've seen my videos, very pink and pale complected, but I highly recommend checking out Lisa's site, lisaeldridge.com. Just all lisaeldridge.com because she is really great about showing the colors across a wide range of tones from the extremely pale to the very, very dark brown skin. So check out her website. And again, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a beauty tour of my brand new lipsticks, all seven of them. I actually already have Velvet Myth, but I have the oh so wonderful lip gloss to try out. The lip gloss is a brand new product. All right, next up, I am going to do a reveal of sorts. I am not going to do the full reveal because it is the advent calendar from the Coffee Monsters Co. So there, I did get the add-on of the two days. Having them pre-wrapped was also an extra charge. I am so glad I did it because I'm gonna have fun with unwrapping these on the days that were to unwrap. It comes with a advent calendar card with the dates of we'll do the reveals and also the oh so lovely sampler I love that so I'm really looking forward to this 
And thank you so much, Helen and her family, for working with me because I had to change the shipping address. I was expecting it to come a little earlier, hoping for it to come a little earlier, and was originally having it sent to my apartment. But since they had a delay in product shipping, I reached out and asked, hey, can I change my shipping address? And we, since we didn't know when it was, Helen made a note in my file to check with me to see where I wanted it shipped to. And she did, and I was able to change my shipping address. So I really adore the Wang family and the customer service that they provide as part of this business. It's just phenomenal. Next up, I don't talk about food on this channel because it's not a food channel, but I adore cooking and I adore pensies. So this pensies hug blanket is what I purchased. This was the main purchase. That pensies is already always so good about sending out samplers and other things as part of the purchase. So for this particular purchase, I got a sampler of French thyme and a small bottle of their justice seasoning. In addition to that, because this was sent well before the election, I also got a number of stickers promising I will vote on 11-320, and I actually voted before then because I did mail-in ballot, and I was so, so happy to do that, as well as the stickers, Cook's Vote, and white, red, white, and blue. It's just, I, I, I love Penzies. They are a fabulous company. Uh, they already had fabulous product, but I really adore the leadership that Bill Penzi, the owner of the company, has shown over the last four years in uh, calling those to do right in the world. So I, I have wholly support Penzi's. As, I, as you saw in the intro, I actually have a big box of stuff that is going to be my family presents, so my mom can actually hear me, so I'm not going to say exactly what they are, but they are getting Penzi's for Christmas this year. Okay, next up is an order from Chrissy Ann Designs and actually my very first order from Chrissy Ann Designs. So let me get my order sheet out of here. Just one moment. Okay, and so I actually had these done as binder ready even though I don't have one of their binders. When I bought these, turns out I actually did go back a couple days later and buy the 2020 Celebrations binder because it was on sale for 20 five percent off and as of the day i'm filming it i actually just got the shipping notice for that so that should be here soon this was a two dollar tuesday order and i just i've been seeing so many people use Chrissy and designs in their spreads that i wanted to give it a try as i move into 2021 so here is the sampler that it comes with it's pretty cool and then I got this grocery delivery sheet because I that's how I get my groceries at home is always grocery delivery. And so this is the sampler. So again, this was a $2 Tuesday and I just decided to go ahead and get all of it because why not if I am trying things out and exp experimenting. So in, with the $2 Tuesday, that just made it easier to do. So there's this sheet. And then this sheet, and then this sheet, and this I'm gonna have to do some sticker surgery because I will be putting this into a Moxie Life planner, and Moxie Life runs Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday on the other side of the coil. So this is gonna have to be some sticker surgery. And then this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using these, but I figured, what the heck, again, experiment, $2. I think this is the general sampler. Oh yeah, there are the date covers. And this one. So yeah, so that is my first Chrissy Ann designs order and I am looking forward to trying all of this out. Okay, sorry about that. I'm not sure exactly where I was at because I had a plane flying overhead because Southwest frequently flies over my parents and then the battery died. But I got these fitness bands 
from my friend Mary over at the last 50 here on YouTube because I was the winner of her giveaway for two, hitting 200 subscribers and as I and my mom is also a really into fitness. She takes fitness classes basically as her retirement hobby. And so I'm gonna have her work with me to figure out some exercises that I can do with these bands in order to work on strength training and improving my strength within the confines of my apartment when I'm back there. So since I live in a studio, I don't have a whole lot of space and the gym in my building was not that big to begin with and has been shut down since COVID started and I wasn't otherwise a member of the gym so having something that I can use to exercise at home I'm really really excited for and so please go check out Mary at the last 50 here on YouTube and then finally you may recognize this if you're at all a fan of Simply Gilded and their fabulous glorious metal covered envelopes so I got the October subscription box. I signed back up for the subscription because I saw photos of this particular subscription box and I just could not resist. So I am back in for at least a few months. <laughs> and so this is the October divine subscription box. I just, I love this particular theme and it just spoke to me. I, I couldn't resist. I may accidentally show the mystery items. So if you do not want to see this, please click away uh, to the next section and I will be sure to put timestamps in all of these so you can do that. Um, but yeah, so I, I apologize if I accidentally show the mystery item. This is my first time opening this. The mystery item actually fell out as I was opening it. I have cut that out so you have been saved from being spoiled. But here is the listing for the October 2020 Divine Box. Foil journaling card, designer washi tape, deluxe sticker kit and seals, vellum and foil sticky notes, V6 stitch binding notebook, engraved black gel ink pen. Oh god, this is so gorgeous. Honestly, this is a huge reason why I decided to sign back up for it. Uh, vegan leather pouch, acetate and vellum sheets, vinyl die cut stickers, a Sakura micro perm pen. Oh, that I thought was the mystery item. It is not. So I, I, I forget the mystery item. And warning, I may still accidentally show it. <laughs> All right, so here is the Sakura Micro Perm Pen in 01. I am so glad to have this because I'm not sure if I brought my other one with me. And Chrissy Ann Designs is a particular, uh, sh the sheet is requires you to use a permanent pen such as the Sakura Micro, Sakura Micro Perm. And then here is simply gilded the engraved pen with butterflies it's just it's so gorgeous and then the seal at the top the little bow and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous pen I'm gonna look forward to using this and then here let me take a quick look inside nope okay so here's the vegan leather pouch really cute bronze colored bronze colored and then inside it actually has a little divider so this is going to be really interesting oh it has a little pouch so pocket there we go and yeah so it's a nice size and here is all of the washi tape i do get the add-on I have found the mystery item and I've moved it out of the way. Oh, constellations. I don't know if you can see it, but I just, I love the constellations. And here is the five millimeter add on.
And then here is the set that comes with the basic box. Basic, I say basic, but it, Simply Gilded is in no way basic. And then here are the Balm sticky notes. Some gorgeous vinyl stickers with foil. Oh God, these are so gorgeous. And then this is the B6 notebook. This is the acetate and vellum sheets. Oh, I love this. I, I, I love the astrology, so that was the other reason why I decided to seek it out. And here is the journal card. So cute with Jeremy Purr's ears popping up. And here is the sticker set. So, yeah. oh, there we go. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. I'm so looking forward to using these. So that is it for now. I will be adding on more as they come in. I'm looking forward to sharing all of this with you and I will see you when the next package is available. So I'm back with the second batch of things that have arrived at my parents since I came home a couple weeks ago. And everything that was in the first batch that you've already seen was delivered prior to my arrival. This is everything that has come since then, obviously. I will link everything in the description below. If you find any of this useful, please like it. Please also share this with your friends who may be looking for gift ideas, um, either still at the holiday season or in the future. This might actually go up after Christmas. But also please share in the comments what your favorites of all of these have been. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you all like and what you recommend for future goings on. But I am really, really looking forward to making use of all of these as well as seeing what happens in 2021. So, all right, so here goes. Okay, first up is this gorgeous piece of embroidery art by my friend Liz Lincoln. Her Etsy shop is Liz Lincoln Crafts and she has some of the most gorgeous pieces I've ever seen. When she posted a photo of this to Twitter, when she finished it, all I can think of was that I needed to own this. She put it up on Etsy a few days later and I am just thanking all the deities that I happened to be on Twitter when she posted that it was available because I think I had it in my cart and bought within five minutes of her posting it. And I don't know if it was the fastest sale she's ever had, but it probably is in at least the top five. And she will do uh, custom versions of this. You do have to pay a little bit extra, but if you want different color hair, different color skin tone, it she will do it for you. She also does embroidered sayings, some of them with swears, if that is your bag, it certainly is mine, but you need to check out her Etsy shop. Again, it's Liz Lincoln Crafts, and seriously, as soon as I saw this, I, I just knew it had to be mine because I, my hair is a similar uh, color and tones and it was just, it just reminded me of me, frankly. <laughs> so uh, I just adore this piece so much and I'm looking forward to hanging it up in my apartment when I uh, get back to DC. Next up are these stickers and enamel pin from Capital Chic Designs. And I did actually buy four of them and I sent the fourth one out in the mail today uh, because uh, I had put something up for a fundraiser auction and I thought that this would be because of the fundraiser, the nature of the fundraiser, I thought it would be very cool to include this. So I hope uh, the item winner enjoys it. But these are, I believe, vinyl stickers because they're definitely thicker than the usual um, sticker paper from Capital Chic Designs, but uh, great uh, two stickers of uh, Biden and Harris uh, raising their hands in victory and January 2021 inauguration. That is a separate, uh, that is a separate sticker. So the shop 
as of the time I'm filming this, it's currently closed. I'm not sure when they will be going back up, probably after New Year's or somewhere around then. So keep an eye out for this when they reopen the shop. The other thing I got was uh, this Stay Petty enamel pin, and it's just really cute striped sweater with Petty on it. I One of my friends posted when these were available, and I just could not resist. So this is a really fun uh, pin, and the stickers, I just love Capital Chic Designs, and so I think everybody needs to own some of these and a bunch of their other wonderful stickers. Next up, whoop, Next up is actually skincare. I have extremely dry skin, as you may be able to tell from here. I have actually, I have psoriasis, particularly on this hand, and then just very naturally dry skin all over my body. And so wintertime and wintertime in my parents' house is particularly rough on it. And so I uh, had meant to bring a tub of uh, this hand cream that I found that actually works really well for me, but I just, in the rush of getting everything packed into the car to come back to Chicago, I completely forgot to grab it, so I decided to order this, and it is First Aid Beauty's Ultra Repair Cream on Intense Hydration, and this is six ounces. This was, I believe, about $34, which is on the expensive side, especially since I was able to get a 14 ounce tub for about the same price uh, from QVC. So you might want to check out QVC. I don't believe they carried the full line necessarily, but at least for the Ultra Repair Cream, definitely check them out. And so it's just really intense, creamy, lotion that actually does not leave my hands greasy and soaks in pretty quickly. So it's not immediate by any means, but it it I, I'm able to go back to doing what I do within probably a five minutes and not have any greasy residue left on things. So that's one of the reasons why I really, really love this stuff. So again, this is First Aid Beauty's Ultra Repair Cream. And since I was on the site, it was a, a Black Friday deal. I actually got a two ounce bottle of this that is a travel size and that is currently in my purse. So that was a bonus gift for buying on Black Friday. But since I had also signed up for their newsletter, I had a 15% off code. So I decided to get some facial care stuff since again, dry skin all over my body. My face is usually actually somewhat normal, but it's it's feeling the moisture being sucked out of my body. Again, winter in living in my parents' house. So I got a bunch of options for face and eye cream, but because I, uh, I don't, can't remember what triggered this, it might've just been the purchase, but I also got these, see get these all in the same order i got these uh, this four pack of items that was part of like the free shipping gift I, it, like i said i think it's just regular purchase so ultra repair hydrating serum and this is for uh putting it on your face after uh, cleansing but before moisturizer so it says apply a small amount of product to a clean dry face and neck so that was that. And then coconut skin smoothie, let's see, coconut skin smoothie primer moisturizer. So I believe this is just a straight up primer, which since I don't really wear makeup, I will see if I use this. So apply evenly over clean face, follow with makeup or wear alone for a natural look. So I can wear it alone. Uh, this is a pure skin face cleanser. And so remove surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. So your typical cleanser. I did not get the cleanser as part of my regular order. And the Ultra Repair Cream, again, if I needed like just really quick on my face or on my hands, this is what that would be for. And then this was also part of the free gifts and it is their Arnica Relief and Rescue Mask, Soothe and Distress. Arnica is actually really good for just soothing your skin. So apply to a clean, apply to clean dry skin, allow to absorb, tissue off any excess is the directions. 
And so here is the order. It, this actually came in a box, but I've since thrown out the box. So Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. And again, this is for replenishing, smoothing, and softening. And this is to be used daily in the AM and PM. Apply one pump of product to a clean, dry face and neck. Wait until completely absorbed before applying moisturizer. And so this, I put this on before bed last night and it was really, really great. I did not get around to putting it on today. And here is, I'm gonna save this actually, since this is the eye. And this is just the regular face moisturizer. I popped this on yesterday as soon as I got it and oh my God, I could immediately feel the difference. And honestly, even though I haven't put any moisturizer on my skin yet today, it's holding up really well. I'm not feeling as dry as I have been the last few, two weeks. I've been here for two weeks now. So um, yeah, this was great stuff too, even if you just want something simple. And here's the other thing. I do have somewhat sensitive skin, but even more importantly than it might be related to sensitive skin, is that pretty much almost any moisturizer I put on my face unless it's like super dry and my body is super cool, I will immediately start sweating it off. And it could be because it's super cool and super dry and I have not started sweating all of this off. And then this is Ultra Repair Hydra Firm Sleeping Cream. So this was the moisturizer I put on after the serum last night. And again, this soaked in really easily and was really nice. And so this is really thick stuff and so it worked really really well and I have no idea how long this will last but I definitely recommend it even after just one use and then I as you can tell I haven't opened this one yet but this is their ultra repair berry air I don't know if you can see that there cream uh, strengthen balance and hydrate and all of this is safe for sensitive skin. And so this is used daily in the AM and PM, apply evenly over clean skin. So as you can tell, I got a lot of moisturizer and related products. And then finally, the eye stuff. So again, this also came in a box, but I have thrown it out. So this is the five in one eye cream. There we go. And this is, you put it over all after um, cleansing put it over uh, your eyes all over in the AM and PM. And so it just works. It, it felt really nice last night. And then Eye Duty Triple Remedy AM Gel Cream. So again, in the box, so I haven't used it yet. But again, after cleansing, they want you to do a lot of, lot of cleansing. I'm always worried about over cleansing my skin. But uh, gently apply to the entire orbital area eye area in the morning. I don't know what else is orbital on the skeleton and I did take osteology because that was my undergraduate degree. Anyway, so that was First Aid Beauty and I definitely recommend all of the products that I have tried so far but especially the Ultra Repair Cream since I have been using that since, oh god, February, January? I've been using it almost an entire year and I just really, really enjoy it. So again, the Ultra Repair Cream is my number one pick just because of how long I have been using it. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy, especially if you're in need of moisturizers and you have sensitive skin and super dry skin. Okay, next up I have two orders from Simply Gilded. I had uh, stopped getting their subscription box for a while, and then I signed up last month again because they were offering the, um, I, it was the previous, it was uh, the October box that I really, really wanted, and which I showed uh, previously, and that it was already here when I arrived home at my parents. So I was able to get in on the double dip for the previous boxes that I didn't already have. I actually was okay with not getting the entire Park Avenue box, which is good because it was sold out. But I actually really, really liked the fancy FET box from all of the photos that I saw on YouTube and on Instagram. And then I did get a couple of things from Park Avenue, which caught my eye. So. Oops. 
here is the fancy fit. And again, this was the September 2020 box. So let's see if I can pull these up in order. Here is the foil journaling card. It is just really gorgeous. I, I really love their designs and themes. And then we have the designer washi tapes in this holder. And I'll quickly pull those out. I could not resist the peacock theme. And the Art Deco aspect because I am a huge fan of Art Deco. So I should be able to see those to a degree. They're just really, really gorgeous, this particular theme. All right. And then the deluxe sticker kit with seals. Again, Peacock and Art Deco. So I'm not gonna take these apart because I've got a lot to work through. But uh, if you search for September 2020, Fancy Fet, and that should uh, get you a lot of uh, other videos that will go through it one by one. All right, and then B6 Traveler's Notebook cover, and this one, uh, I'm not gonna rip open, but this will, it has the uh, cords inside for you to stick in the various notebooks that they provide. And then here is, speaking of said notebook, so really, really gorgeous. And then we have the engraved pen. Again, this is rose gold. You can see the Simply Gilded right there. I am just really looking forward to playing this. It's just gonna be so gorgeous, gorgeous, and honestly, it's gonna look really great on various staging photos. All right. And Crystal Bow Charm. Again, really pretty. And the Vellum and Acetate Sheets. So this is the acetate. And here is the vellum. And this is foil. I don't know if that's, yeah, that's showing up a little bit. And then the mystery item. So look away very briefly, but here they are. It is washi cards of different things, but you can see this top one is the peacock. It's so pretty. So, all right. And so that was the fancy set box. And then the other items that I got were really love these. I have to look at my old thing. I got uh, the additional uh, five millimeter. I think I must have. Oh, I got two. I did not realize that the box came with. So I now have two of the add-on washi. Good to know. I literally, as I'm filming this, just realized that I, I have two of these. So that, and then this is the Park Avenue add-on, I believe. Um, no, I'm not sure why I have these, huh? But these are just the little bows in the five millimeter. And then, but I did get this Park Avenue cityscape because I just thought it was really pretty and I adore cityscapes. And then these are the Park Avenue notes, sticky notes. I've already used one of these and I will say the sticky, I am supremely spoiled by the super sticky post-it notes. So anything that is not super sticky, I am usually disappointed in as a sticky note, but this is really pretty. And so this will be great for like, writing a quick note to include in a package or an added note to stick in a card. And then of course, the always lovely journal cards that come with the order. And this one says, you possess the key to inner peace. It's a gorgeous watercolor drawing of a koi in a pond. So I just, I really love their journal cards. Okay, and then the typical seal and sampler 
free spirit with the wreath around it. That's that's really gorgeous. And then this uh, seal is the Park Avenue uh, plaid. And then the other order I got from Simply Gilded was the November sub box. And so I will try to hide the mystery item, but please be forewarned that I may accidentally show it unless I will. Wait, I think I may have hidden it in the holder, but uh, so the bag that is with this is a lovely fawn uh, patterned bag and it's just a drawstring pouch and it perfectly fits. So all of the paper items came in this pocket folder with the foiled bow. Okay, and so here is Fond Memories, and I believe this is the anniversary box as well. So we've got the foiled journal card. Again, is the F-A-W-N apostrophe D for Fond. So all Fond pattern themed. And then I will get to the washi tapes. And so let's see, this is sticky notepad. This is not the mystery item. And this is just a polka dot and it's cute. And again, because, oh no, this is not, this is a notepad. This is, it says sticky notes. This says notepad. So we will see when I open this, but, and again, uh, the foiled bow in gold. And here is the uh, stitched B6 notebook. I really, I really am enjoying this floral motif that's been in the last, since about like July. I think that's when I first saw it and it's just really pretty. And this is uh, gold. There we go. Got some white there. And I'm not going to bother opening it, but this is just really pretty. And then this is uh, deco boxes with the decoration from each of the past 12 months. So I got a lot of these, but I could not tell you what the month was that they came in. Um, I believe this was June. This was July. Um, yeah. And, but yeah, it's just really pretty. And I am really impressed by everything that they do. And here is the set of, oh, I believe there was hollow overlay on these. I didn't, I had missed that earlier. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of, you can see there. And then here is the stickers. All right, and this is the acetate and vellum, fall in love. Again, with a lovely floral circle motif. And then the fawn pattern for the vellum. So maybe this is both vellum. We'll see. And then here is the fabulous um, large fawn. This is actually, is this fawn on the inside? Because obviously this is floral on the outside. So let me go ahead and open. This is all gold hardware. And so, no, oh, and I, I did hide the mystery item. So the mystery item is in here. And so I've got the washi and the pen. And so this is a clear pouch with uh, pen holders in there and on the back. So if you've got a lot of stuff, this is a really cute uh, pen pouch for you to carry and other supplies for you to carry your stuff around in. And let me go ahead and open up. So here is the pen. So uh, the fancy fit was rose gold hardware pen. And then this is just, I'm gonna take the thing off. So, and this is gold hardware. So completely gold and just really, really nice. And this has got the polka dots on it. Okay, so it looks like, let's see if I can get it. This looks like it's got some glitter to it. And this is the add-on with a bit of a fawn pattern with a 
gold bow, a uh, combination of it's similar. It's this, it's the same coloration, except this is just stripes. This is the uh, Buffalo check with uh, gold hearts and then the floral motif on a pink background in gold. And so let's see if we can, can I get that to, I can't get the glitter. There is definitely glitter in this Buffalo check with the gold bow. And it's a different gold bow than her usual one, so it's a bit fuller of a pattern. Let's see if I can get that. You can kind of see that. And then this looks to be, this is a set. So this is, I think this might be her, I can't see if it's perforated or not, but it's got gratitude. It says gratitude. And then this is memories. This says love. This is, okay, this is gratitude again. And it does not tell me if it just says boutique washi tape. So can't tell if it's perforated or not. And then this is just the fawn color with a strip of the gold and the gold bar with a gold bow. And this is the kind of matching set with polka dot in gold and the bows. There we go. Yeah, they're actually pretty similar bow style. But so that is the washi tape and everything for the um Actually, you know what? I will go ahead and show the mystery item. So if you want to uh, flip through, I will try to remember to do a, a timestamp so that you can flip through to both and to skip over the mystery item. So the mystery item for the November Simply Gilded sub subscription box is this. Perfect for my hair as it is now since it's so long I have not had it cut. A little hair tie in the fawn color. So there's the fawn pattern. And then you just tie it around your hair and there you go. So this is gonna be perfect for my hair because my hair is really, really freaking long these days. Okay, next up is this order from Rose Color Days. This is my first order from them and I just really love this uh, sticker that they used to help seal that I thought was just incredibly cute. And it says, happy mail for Katie. Thank you for your order in their hollow foil. It's just, it's really pretty. Okay, so what I ordered were these two sets of vellum uh, sticky notes. They were basically what was left because these sell out so freaking quickly. And as my mom pointed out, I can use these for gift tags. And I think I will, especially with use of uh, some of the washi tape that I've gotten from the Coffee Monsters Co. as part of the advent calendar. So this one is, I believe, white clear, and these are transparent. So these are vellum, so these are going to be transparent. I'll take those out in a moment. And then this has, I think, silver hollow foil for the snowflake decorations right there. And then this is on purple, and this is a white, I believe, um, foil, because I, I wanted to get the hollow, but it was all sold out in this color. So this this was what was available. I just really love, especially on this one, the frosty aspect. So this is like what frost looks like on the cars when you go out in the morning here in the Midwest. And then I also got this uh, transparent overlay sticker. So this is all the washi, this is all perforated. So let me pop this off. So this is like for use in your spreads where you can put lay down stickers or like right in the area and then lay this down over it. You can also probably lay this down right on top of it with a um, permanent pen such as the uh, microperm or I think it's muni pen that cloth and paper sells. Hold on. Oops. More fun than I had planned. There we go. So, let's see if I can find the, the 
this is really uh, 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 is that there we go so I don't know if you can see this it is little ornaments hanging down in silver foil I'm really looking forward to playing with this and then so you can kind of see the perforation right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and tear it and there's what it looks like on my hand <laughs> all right so that is the washi and okay and so I had to pause my camera briefly so I can let it chill out because it is a little overheated and then I want to show off the vellum sticky notes from Rose Colored Days. And I do have my Microperm 01. Okay. And so I had to pause my camera briefly so I can let it chill out because it is a little overheated. And, and then want to show off the vellum sticky notes from Rose Colored Days. And I do have my Microperm 01. So this is what I'm using. I probably actually would more use the 03 or the 05 for a little fatter nib, but this is what I currently have available, so. All right, so this is what it looks like off the pad. It's a very pale purple. And if you can't read my handwriting, it says wishing you the best in 2021, Katie. And kind of see the edges. Definitely, it, these are a lot of fun and great for, again, sticking in packages on notes as an added thing and just a, I think great as a gift card uh, for pack for presents and packages. All right, and then this is, I haven't actually opened this yet. This is the um, special uh, thank you gift or little added extra that they sent in the package. And it is an acetate. It's actually a few things, but you have this Acetate calendar for January 2021. This is going to be great for sticking into my half letter notebook, disc bound. And then also samples of their overlay stickers with the headers and just a full box. And I believe that's a rose gold foil. And then this is their information. I will again link everything below. And I was a little surprised by this. Um, I was thankful for the calendar and the sampler, but they also included a, uh, let's see if I can get it open, um, sample washi overlay. This is, I literally, I have not opened this before. So it looks like it is a uh, silver bows for headers. So with on a clear washi. So this would be really fun to play with. But again, that is rose colored days. Again, I will post everything below. Next up is two orders from the Coffee Monsters Co because I love them and I could not resist. They both, they both came with the same journal card that says, I put a spell on you with a little witchy emoji in front of a cauldron with a little black cat. And so I, I love Halloween, so this is just really fun. But these are both um, Halloween order, uh, not Halloween orders. These are both uh, orders that I made. I actually had missed that uh, some stuff was available. So I was like, oops, I have to go back and order again. Darn. So... Here is the 
sampler that this one came with. Uh, so it's a little emoji in a bear onesie uh, doing planning Black Friday for the shopper, a little um, sugar baking. Oh, that's really cute. And then a mood swing uh, a sticker so that you can mark for when you have the mood swings. And so this is a Christmas emoji bucket list. And I love this. I actually showed this to my mom. I couldn't resist. So fall and scarf, uh, fall scarf and beanie emojis, one without masks and then one with masks since wear your mask, especially in winter, even when pandemic is over, this is when we typically get sick. So just wear your masks every winter. My mom actually loves wearing her mask in winter and well in fall when it's cold out because that helps keep her face warm. So just think of it that way. You're doing yourself a favor. And so we've got uh, the fall couch potato emojis, festive presents. Holiday mug doodles, Christmas movie night emojis, Christmas working emojis because I will be working. I, I'm gonna, I am taking time off be around Christmas and New Year's, but I will maybe throw in an hour or two a day just to save my annual leave as much as I can since I can work from home. And then uh, Christmas emoji movie marquees really like these. These are just so cute. And then festive night emojis. I like the one in the hot chocolate bathing. That is so much fun. And then holiday baking emojis. I love these because my family, we do a lot of baking during the holidays. We bake, we do a lot of baking period. And so I got two sheets of these. And then gift wrapping emojis. I'm not going to be doing as much gift wrapping because I'm going to be getting a lot of, um, gift cards for those who I am buying multiple presents for, but this is always a fun time. And then festive planning emojis. And so these are bigger and take up a width of a standard size vertical column. And then Christmas emoji sampler brights. And then the pastel. And so also got a few more over here. Here it is. Did I buy two? Or I showed that. All right. And then uh, horoscope emojis. I am cancer because I was born in July. And then hormonal, which admittedly today, today is definitely uh, one of these days. And then Halloween critters. I, I just love Cookie Monster so much. Uh, no more adulting, the adulting emoji bucket list. Because, yeah, yeah. Uh, lemon doodle stickers. I am such a sucker for lemon and citrus. And then zombie working emojis. Because, again, how could I not? And so then we also have Christmas movie marathon marquees with text. So we've got watch Home Alone, watch Polar Express, watch Rudolph, watch the Santa Claus with an E, watch Muppets, watch with the Cranks, watch Elf. Charlie Brown Christmas, Christmas Story. I love this. This is my favorite. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Okay, I really like this one too. Watch Gremlins. Watch Miracle on 34th Street. Watch The Nightmare Before Christmas. Watch A Christmas Carol. Watch Die Hard. And watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. All right. And then my little beanie card. Oh, I did get two of these. That's what it was. I did get two. All right. And then my next order, when I realized that there was more to be had, I went and got these. And I did actually put in a Black Friday order too, so we'll see when I get those. But um, so this is, let's see where I can, Christmas countdown traditional colors. And then here's the Christmas countdown pastels. And then the winter mug doodles, Christmas mug doodles part two, holiday beanie and scarf emojis. And I, I didn't get these with masks. Okay. 
Oh, that's because I did get the winter ones with masks. So these are the holiday, which is different. <sighs> holiday snail emoji, snail mail emojis, because there's the snail mail. <laughs> and then winter functional emojis. So lovely little post-it type stuff. Christmas functional emojis, so you can write notes and everything. Here's the winter scarf and beanie emojis, and again with the masks. I love these just so much. And yeah, cozy sweater emojis, emojis, not emojis, a, sw a snowy neighborhood. And this is actually uh, pretty similar to a um, washi we may have received today in the advent calendar. Christmas TV doodles and the holiday treats emojis. I really like these. These were so much fun. And then the kit that I got was actually related to the last one. This is a holiday baking mini kit. So these are all the full boxes. This is the functional and to do. And this is a uh, washi and other uh, tags for it and checklists. And this is the deluxe page with a couple more boxes and checklists and a uh, habit tracker, like meal planner, whatever. Here, these are the habit trackers. So yeah, so I really, really enjoy Coffee Monsters Co. And I love supporting them and their family. So I'm really looking forward to the other order that I got. And I will show those probably in a later video. Time for the bag daddy my 2021 planner. I got the Moxie Life planner. I was actually hoping to film this video a lot earlier, but this originally went out for delivery on Wednesday, on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I did not actually get it until the following Tuesday turns out that my parents regular mail, mail carrier was on vacation the week of Thanksgiving and whoever was subbing for him did not communicate they were they were not on the ball with getting deliveries done so we did not uh, receive any uh, I think we just only received uh, regular mail on Wednesday before Thanksgiving and then there was one day Oh, it was the Friday after Thanksgiving that we did not receive any mail at all, let alone this in another package that was supposed to be delivered on Wednesday or the two packages that were supposed to be delivered on Friday, according to the tracker. And then uh, what was it made more frustrating for me was the fact that the tracker, the status for these were given as um, uh, waiting for you at the post office. Well, I went out to the post office twice, uh, once on Friday and once on Saturday, and was told that it actually, that, that status of waiting for you, that basically says waiting for you at the post office, for them actually meant it was back out with a carrier for a potential delivery. So I went on Saturday after we had already received uh, the mail delivery for the day and had no packages. So I was still missing my four packages. Um, but I think I had like a fifth package. I forget what <laughs> I may have gotten. Um, so nothing, they didn't come back on Saturday, but three of the four packages, not this, were delivered on Sunday. So I was like, okay. And then this finally came the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. So this past Tuesday and I've just been playing with it and waiting for some time in order to film and I'm finally filming and uh, the box itself is a little beat up, but uh, the, overall it's in good condition, which I am thankful for is I'm going to probably flip this around. And the reason why is I really, really like, this is the inner top cover and it says, those dreams look good on you. And it's really pretty and a really, really nice sentiment. And I think this will be a good box for me to hold all my stuff in that I've been 
forgetting. So like all of this for Gilded and the Coffee with Monsters Co. and the other things that I have gotten uh, in order to bring back with me in DC and to keep it in a contained space. So again, this is the top cover and then moving this back. This is mostly how it came. I actually, I already undid a lot of the packaging. So, but it uh, had this wonderful bubble wrap to protect this. And then I had these bookmarks and it's um, my vision. Let's see, my vision, monthly goals, and this week. And these just slot into the O-ring binding. And then I got two uh, functional sticker books. I'll just uh, quickly flip through. You can look through uh, any of the videos like uh, Plan with Lore, Plan with Lakin, uh, Julie's Plans. Um, there's, uh, just do a search for uh, hashtag Moxie Life and you can find any of the preview videos that were done a few months ago. And so these are all uh, stickers in the colors of the Moxie Life moxie life uh, goal setting categories so and these are all designed to fit perfectly in the lines of the moxie life so all right and then these cards uh, don't be pushed around by the fears in your mind be led by the dreams in your heart by Roy Bennett so this is a really, really nice saying and uh, nothing on the back. So it's basically a little journal card that I will hold on to. And then I selected as my cover, the one by Jess Park is just really gorgeous. And so because I chose uh, from the artist series, I, it came with a description of uh, who Jess is and how to connect with her. So I just, I thought this was really cool. And then this is the general info, contact info for Moxie Life. So you can find them here on YouTube as well as on Facebook. And they do have a video about how to change your covers, which is great because I did get one of their interchangeable covers and it was the other, oops, let me get that off. This was the other um, artist series cover by, um, forget Toby's full name, uh, but she is online as Call Me Tobes, T-H-O-B-S, C-A-L-L-M-E-T-H-O-B-S, and you can find her there on Instagram. And by the way, uh, if you want to look for Jess on Instagram, she is at Jessie Park, which is J-E-S-H-Y-P-A-R-K. All right. So again, this is the interchangeable cover from Moxie Life, and it's just, it, I just thought it was so gorgeous, and I wanted to have it and be able to also support um, this artist. And then here comes the box. So this is going to be a little fun to get out, so give me just one moment. Okay, so we have uh, the box that the planner comes in, and this is... I really like this because this is a very sturdy box. This is honestly, to me, nicer than the box that the EC planner that I got uh, earlier in the year came in. And this is a gold foil with their, um, and this is overheating again. This is a gold foil with their logo and it's very thin diagonal lines. And then here is this gorgeous, gorgeous cover. And I'll just, so, oops. so again, this planner cover is by Jess Park. Man, check that out. So, so fabulous. All right, hopefully the camera is done overheating and I can get through the rest of this filming session without having to let it cool down. We have the 2021 Moxie Life Planner with the cover by Jess Park. Again, she is on Instagram as Jessie Park, J-E-S-H-Y-P-A-R-K. And I just could not resist this gorgeous watercolor floral with the gold foiling. This is just 
unbelievably gorgeous and I'm really really looking forward to using this planner in 2021. So it has a rubber band that is integrated as part of the back and again this is the back logo. I thought this was really pretty too. It matches so well. Just everything about this is just spot on and gorgeous. The one thing is that I don't particularly like is this o-ring binding but from everything that I've seen, this is actually a fairly sturdy version of the O-ring. And apparently in order to get a full year with all of the pages, because this is a really thick planner, um, this was the only binding that was available to them. They apparently cannot get a coil big enough and sturdy enough for uh, both the hardcover as well as all of these pages. So I also really like the rounded corners and the fact that there's no grommets or whatever that end cap thing is. I'm not particularly a fan of those because with the way I put, with the way I, I put my stuff through, I would probably just knock those off and ruin the cover. So, all right. I have not put my name in this yet. I haven't done really much of anything. I have flipped through it briefly, but so it's got space for your name, phone, email in case you lose it. But honestly, I don't see this particular planner leaving my apartment. Uh, it's when I have appointments, I put those in my phone and then I will move them over. But I will also uh, go into how I plan on using this particular planner. Then you have this letter from the creator, Sierra Friend. She is a certified life coach and creator of the Moxie Planner system as well as the goal setting system. And it then, the other thing I really like is the fact that these tabs are all laminated and the lamination does not like go super far into the page. So then you, uh, you have to start off with the goal setting system for the year and the life compass and the assessment that go, plays back into the compass and your intentions for 2021, how to set goals as well as reviewing them. So the other thing you really want to pay attention to is that there are three type of goals, stretch goals, progress goals, and maintenance goals, and then definitions for each. And here are some tips on setting annual goals, monthly goals, and weekly actions. And these are some things to consider when writing goals. This is space to create a list or mind map of ideas, dreams, and goals for the upcoming year. Have fun. The possibilities are endless. I've actually already started this in another notebook. And then annual goals for each of the eight sections. And let me flip back to the compass assessment so you can see. So there are eight sections for each of these. Uh, physical environment, personal, fun and recreation, work and learning, family and relationships, health and fitness, spiritual and personal growth. I focus on personal growth as I am not necessarily a spiritual slash religious person and uh, financial. So we have the personal, fun and recreation, work and learning, family and relationships. And here's a thing that I've seen other users of uh, the 2020 Moxie Life system go. They apparently focus, I don't know if it was missing from just the weekly actions, but uh, it is available on the annual goal. So you can have a very particular, like if you have a focus word or a particular point for this area of your life, you can write it down here. And then here are the other four health and wellness uh, slash fitness, financial, personal and spiritual growth and physical environment. And I can tell you right now, the physical environment is actually going to be a big one for me in 2020. And so this is for the vision board I am planning on creating. I might actually film once I have some space on my cards, my creation of the vision board. We'll see how that goes. So keep an eye out for a video. If I don't uh, get around to filming the actual creation of this vision board, I will at the very least film, um, 
my finished product and go over that, how you can create one too. And then goal setting quick tips. And then we get into the planner itself. Not every single front page like this is going to have, the, have a quote, but I really like this particular quote. Be curious, get messy, make mistakes, embrace imperfections, choose courage and just begin. And the trademark heart is the period on that one. So we have this monthly overview and something I did make note of for the uh, changes to the 2021 20, planner is that these uh, date stamps, such as they are, uh, the dates uh, were actually apparently for the 2020 planner in the center of this particular line and they've been moved over to the right, which I personally do like. I did get a monthly kit from Planner Kate that will hopefully be here uh, in the next few weeks. So I will see how I like having a monthly kit on the monthly page. So my plan for the monthly page is that this is actually going to be where I do the week overview of the upcoming week. So I'm going to go through week by week by week and plot out what the, my overview of the week is going to look like. And that is, um, I'll explain why I'm doing that and later, but this is where I'm just gonna, this is where I, I seem to think best with a um, monthly layout for the week overview, just to kind of give myself an idea as to the shape of the week. Um, so this is going to be a bit messier than nor, uh, what most people would probably think of for a monthly uh, outlay. So yeah, I'm not, when I do uh, I'm not going to do like an overview of the month as a whole. That doesn't seem to work well for me in the way I think. So I'm just going to go on Sunday nights, um, even though this is a Sunday start. Uh, I think what I'll well, just do is do Monday because, and here's the other thing. I'm not going to switch this to a Monday start because that would drive me absolutely around the bend. I am not a Monday start for the month. I just... It screws with the way my brain uh, thinks of time in the monthly shape. I, I need Sunday starts. So, which is funny because for the weekly overview, I do like the Monday start. <laughs> I, I'm one of those people who um, I'm very insistent on Sunday start for the monthly overview, but I like the Monday start for the weekly overview. And so I'll just do this. Um, I like just do the wrap around and that will be fine for me. So I will show this. This is actually going to be part of the setup for my uh, weekly vlogs that I'll be doing in 2021. And I'll show you how with like marking down what I have for the upcoming week. And then I will also uh, at the end of the vlog do a um, wrap up of the week where I show you what I do with the weekly overview the actual weekly overview layout plan. So, and then here you have your monthly goals and this is where you uh, focus and maybe it was the monthly goals that the focus wasn't available, but this is where you hone in what you want to do to support your goals for each of these areas of your life in the course of the month. And then this is kind of like a play around space. I think uh, this was another major change for 2021 with this is a dot grid space, whereas I think for 2020, this was a line space. And here you have your weekly actions. Now this is the page that I'm actually gonna keep um, most open for because once I get the shape of the week in the month, that I'm just going you to know, note things down as well and pull them in from my phone since that's basically where I keep my appointments and stuff. But this is where I'm going to really focus in on the j various tasks that I want to do in the course of the week. Because, and the reason I want to do it on this page is because this is just one page and I can get a little planner stand and stick it up on my desk. So this is constantly showing and in my face because I am finding that's what I need. I need something that's going to just be constantly in my line of vision. Um, that's what I seem to respond best to. So that is the current plan is this is just going to, when I, I 
I'm looking around and like, what do I need to do next? I can just quickly glance at this page and it's like, okay, that is not checked off yet. So that is what I'm working on next. And then we have the week plan, uh, the, uh, the weekly layout for uh, the planner. And this is a vertical layout. And the reason I decided to go with this is because I'm gonna be memory planning on this layout. Um, like I said, so this is where I do just general weekly overview. I'm like, okay, this is the shape of the week. This is where I'm going to keep my weekly tasks and what I'm going to constantly be looking at throughout the course of the week. And on probably Sunday nights, I will be sitting and uh, filling this in as to what I have done over the last week. And this is, I, I'm really looking forward to playing with this and uh, seeing how that may help me process what I've done as well as process what I need to do over the course of the week. And I want to take time to sit and reflect and see where I've come from and Admittedly, uh, week spans are a relatively short amount of time, but it's 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 something I'm really looking forward to doing. So we'll see how this plays out. I do have a number of uh, weekly kits coming from, I think I have a couple from Planner Kate coming, and I have an order from Chrissy and Designs. And... I have something to film after this. Um, so, <laughs> so this is the basic layout of the week. And then, so you've got this weekly overview and then you move into the next week where you again have the blank space where I think a lot of people do their reflections for the week as well as brainstorming for the following week. Um, I may also use this page of uh, portion of this page as a social media tracker so I can see, um, I just pay attention to how many followers I have on Instagram and YouTube and note if there's anything that I've done in the last week that may have particularly changed things up for me with uh, the uh, addition of new subscribers. And then we go back into the weekly actions and then the uh, weekly overview layout. So that just repeats itself throughout the course of the month. And then get to the end of the month. And here you have monthly reflections. And I'm really looking forward to this because I think the reflections are so important. And that was one of the things I found most useful about the HB90 system that Sarah Cannon does. And so I was, I was really intrigued by this to see that this is a uh, see that Sierra also incorporates this and is one of the things that really honestly convinced me to give the Moxie Life system a try. And so for February, we have freedom, flexibility, permission, growth, and learning. I'm sorry, freedom, flexibility, permission, growth, learning, fun. And so this is just a repeat. There is here, let me flip back to here's January is a bit of a dark blue. Let's see if I can see that without too much shading. So it's a bit of a dark blue. And then February is a bit of a teal. So there is um, some slight uh, change. This is actually, this is where the color comes in, but it's actually a fairly neutral planner because look at this. It's pretty much the only color on this is up here in the, where the dates are. So it's very easily, um, covered by any kits that you may want to use and uh, you just have to get date covers and all of that and so what I want to show you next actually is the end of March so instead since March is the end of the quarter again you have the monthly re reflections for the month but instead of a quote on the start uh, on the page before April, you have a quarterly compass. And this is for you to do a quarterly assessment of how you're feeling and where you're coming from. And again, this factors in something about the HP 90 system that I really, really enjoyed. And um, so because while a week long's reflection is a bit of a span of time, monthly is better. Quarterly, I think, is also a really good 
check-in point because that gives you even more data to work from. And so again, this is something that's really making me excited to use this system. So that is basically how it repeats throughout the course of the um, planner. And here again is the quote that came in on the journal card as part of the packaging. Don't be pushed around by the fears in your mind. Be led by the dreams in your heart by Roy T. T Bennett. Learn to rest, not quit. And this is so important, especially with after 2020. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I've really tried to lean into resting this year and haven't done as great of a job as I wanted to, but I, this is such a good reminder. Oops, June, July, again, quarterly assessment for the end of quarter two. And August is the two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. And that was from Anonymous. So that's a really thought provoking quote. And then September is Moxie. And so the actual word, and then this is the phonetic, um, I, I forget the term for this uh, spelling. I should know because this is, uh, it, what's, it's what my sister-in-law does as a speech pathologist. But uh, energy, pep, courage, determination, and know-how. And uh, moxie is a word that I have been familiar with pretty much my entire life because my mom really liked uh, the various uh, moxie soda um, advertisements. And so uh, there used to be this thing called moxie soda, um, I think back in the 50s and 60s, maybe 50s. And so my mom had this uh, kitchen magnet that she had on our fridge while I was growing up that was for uh, an advertisement for moxie soda. So I, I've been familiar with moxie my entire life and I think it's a really cool word. And so again, the quarter three quarterly ass compass assessment. November's is grateful for where I am, excited for where I'm going. December is good things are coming, good things are coming, good things are coming, good things are coming, with uh, good things are coming in bold and the various colors going down. And then we have our quarterly four compass assessment. And then in the back we have 2021 calendar, 2022 calendar, and my parents are coming home and then a bunch of note pages. So that is it for this planner. And oh, I forgot to show in the back, there is a folder, oops, a two pocket folder, and then um, more stickers in the back. So you don't have to get the sticker book, you can just use the stickers in the back. And then there is a little pocket built into the cover. And oops, see this is where I don't like the O-ring. This is where I think it, it gets awkward. And there we go. The um, 2021 Moxie Life Planner with the cover by Jess Park. I'm looking forward to sharing this process with you in 2021. And again, um, I'm hoping you guys like the plan I have for um, my schedule. And I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I decided to pick up the Chrissy and Design Celebrations Collection for 2020 because it was on sale for 25% off and I wanted to give the brand a try since a lot of people really enjoy them. And in addition to the, what was in the collection, I also uh, picked up the December monthly uh, spread as well as a couple of the supplements for the uh, Christmas and winter. And so I thought these were pretty cute. And I really do like that. Uh, let's chill in the winter vibes, hot cocoa and warm hugs. And so these are, this is for a weekly spread. And I'm still playing around, trying to like kind of get, wrap my mind, uh, wrap my mind around how this works. Um, since I'm not gonna use all of it, I'm not a, much of a habit tracker, but I thought that this was uh, kind of fun. And then, so this was the, these were the pages that I got extra. And then this is the start of the celebrations collection. 
So if you are at all interested, I know that they are planning on doing a collection for 2021. I don't know when it's going to be released. I am in the Facebook group. So if you're not in the Facebook group, you might want to check that out for news. I actually haven't checked recently, so they may have announced when that is happening in the last uh, week or so. And then these are all pretty cute. This is not really quite my uh, style of character, but it is, it is a cute character. And then all of the days without the dates. So since these are can have these particular holidays can happen on uh, different dates. Um, oh, Halloween is always October 31st and Valentine's Day is always um, February 14th. And you can hear my family moving around upstairs. So, and Pride Month, LGBT History Month, uh, National Novel Writing Month, Hispanic Heritage Month, Black Women's History Month, um, so these are all, I really, in bulk, I really appreciate all these particular, uh, not usually included holidays. And so since these are not particularly tied to a day of the week, I can absolutely use these in the coming year in addition to whatever is in the 2021 collection as I do plan on getting that particular collection. So just, uh, flipping through, they've got lots and lots of holiday dates and then here is and each of these pages are numbered so there are 20 pages that come with the collection and uh, as you saw in the beginning you can get uh, supplemental sheets as they come available and so I'm just gonna flip through and again you can hear this, this house is 80 years old. That sounds about right. 80 year old house floors. And all the stairs. <laughs> so uh, this is a good new year. This is the New Year's spread. So I think I may not quite use it. I've got, uh, I know I've got a, yeah, 2021. So I, I do have a, um, spread coming from uh, Planner Kate that is also intended for New Year's, so we'll see which one I, I actually end up going with. Gobble to you wobble, that was pretty cute. And then these are, uh, if you want to like replace the uh, dates in your monthly spread, uh, they go one, two, 31 for each of these. So you've got snowflakes, butterflies, ice cream cones, and flowers. And then months, and then uh, anniversary, birthday, 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 which is good because I have a lot of people in my family that I have to keep track of in addition to their actual, um, to their friends. So that is all 20 pages plus the supplements of the Chrissy Ann Designs 2020 Celebrations Collection. So like I said, uh, the 2021 collection will be coming out. I don't know exactly when, but if you want to join the Facebook group or follow them on Instagram, uh, you should be able to find out that information. And I will link everything that I've covered below. I don't even remember what I just filmed all of today. <laughs> it's been a lot, but I am really looking forward to uh, what's coming in 2021 and sharing it all with you guys. I will um, be including uh, hauls as well as uh, my monthly and weekly uh, goal setting as well and um how i progress in achieving those goals and yeah so uh, so thank you so much for joining me today i know this was a really long video but i really wanted to share all this fabulous stuff with you i am going to be back next week on december 29th likely with a, a video about the setup of my vision board and the goals in my moxie life planner i 
hope you guys all have a very happy holiday season if you celebrate, no matter what you celebrate, and I wish that all of your dreams be really dreams. Bye-bye.